I want to speak about zeal. Zeal brings great benefits. There's a quote here in the New Testament, John 2 and verse 17, which is quoting what was written in Isaiah, prophesying about Jesus. And his disciples remembered that it was written, the zeal of thine house has eaten me up. The reason they remember that scripture is because Jesus overturned the table of the money changers that were making money to sell sacrifices when he said, my father's house should be called a house of prayer for all nations. When they saw his zeal, they remember that scripture, that the zeal of thine house has eaten me up. So he has a great zeal for the church. The church is his house. Hallelujah. His body where he dwells by the Holy Spirit. We're built up as a holy habitation for a habitation of God in the spirit. And it says, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify us unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. These things speak and exalt and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise you. I know a lady who wanted to go and live in the area where our church meets, but she didn't want to meet in any church in that area. She just wanted to live in that area. She calls herself a Christian, but Jesus gave himself with great zealousness onto the cross to redeem us, a people unto himself. He's the firstborn among many brethren, the first of a new creation. And that creation is us, his people, who gather together in his name as the church. Do not forsake yourself, the assembling of yourselves together, but follow the Lord Jesus and you will be blessed.